Alright, what's up, fishing fam? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. Third cast. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I love when that happens. But hey, if at first you don't succeed, do it again. So those came on the Whopper Plopper, and uh, that that bike kind of faded away. So I switched to a jig. First cast for the jig. Just so we get hooked up. And the quick release. <laughs> but you can see we're fishing a an island here, uh, which is flooded. So it. About a foot and a half is as shallow as it got up by the trees, but it tapered off real quick to about 25 foot of water. Another keeper in the boat, again coming on the jig. A lot of little stick ups down there, right at the edge of the island where the water line normally is. Yeah, we're just going to keep this video rolling here just to show you how hot of an area this was. Measuring this fish now, uploading it at Journey X. And i um, going to get a phone call from Nicole, who, as you guys know, super good luck when it comes to fishing. Obviously, just caught one. Get a phone call, and uh, I'll have to call her back here in a second. As the reception was super spotty but then you'll see have a phone call with her and what happens next is just what always happens when lucky nicole makes a phone call So we finished up with a phone call. She wished me some luck. Love you. And now we go catch fish. <laughs> Just that easy.
still doing work out here on this island and it just keeps showing out. It was such an amazing spot. Beautiful shot there in the sunrise. Had my limit off this spot before I moved. Couldn't ask for much more. So here we finally move spots, another little hump that topped out about 12 foot of water. Had a few fish stacked up on it in practice, caught a couple here, this one I believe, upgrade. Sorry about the wind noise, but boat positioning on these offshore humps is, is everything. And going into the wind, good for fishing, bad for audio. <laughs> yeah, this, this little guy here, only about 13 or so, and no need for the net. Just boat flip it and get on back with it. Heading over to another offshore hump that popped out about three feet. This is my first cast at approaching that hump. And I'll get hooked up with our big fish of the tournament here. It got pretty close. So we got him in the net. I was pretty excited. Might have said a word or two right there. <laughs> yeah. Amped up. Uh, Nicole was just off to my right. Uh, checking it out. She was talking to my mom at the time. So pretty cool when you catch one. You got other people watching. People can join in. I was just letting Nicole hear that I've been keeping an eye on this spot while I was out fishing that island. And there was a, a angler on it for about two hours and got no fish. So I, I knew there was quality fish there and he didn't stick any. So made my move and it it paid off. Pretty good stuff. I got 
Yeah, we're still in the same spot, same hump, just a good angle. Roped up again. Another good one. It's definitely going to call up a couple inches. I believe this was a 16 and a half. Uh, large mouth. Yeah, again, a little excitement, a couple bad words. <laughs> yeah, that's a great fish, great upgrade. Let's see what else we got over here. Line cool. out, and I'm just retying a jig. And bloop. Yeah. Always have a line out. Can't catch them if they don't have a lure in the water. So we're hooked up again, same spot, another upgrade. And unfortunately, that's the last of our video. Camera cut out that afternoon, and we couldn't get it going the next day. But we did get our 5S fish uh, here for day one and two. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check us out on the next one, Lake Chickamauga, tight lines.